Bank. And I would like to show you the new analyze function. So normally in kick drum, you would have your device chain up here and you can manipulate the sine wave and the envelope and set the Q and everything. And if you have a sample you really like and you would like to have it as editable devices in Kickdrum, you would load the sample up in here and you would try to match as closely as possible the waves so the oscillator sounds like the sample. So this takes a little time and is a little bit tedious. So how nice would it be to have that automatically? So this is what the analyze function is about. Let's get rid of the oscillator for now and just stick with the sample. And there's this new sample to devices button down here. And if you click that, that will create a new device chain consisting of an oscillator and a sample. And the oscillator will try to resemble the kick as closely as possible while the sample is responsible for capturing noise and timbre distortion. In order to have the resulting kick sounding as close as possible to the input sample. But for this particular sample, we know this is a pure sine wave. So here in the analyze panel, we have this toggle button, which we can use to set if we want to use the sample or not. So if you turn this off, the sample is analyzed just to an oscillator and an envelope, which currently sounds like this. And the original sounds like this. Now let's do that with another sample, which is not purely sine wave. So we open the sample browser and choose a kick from here. You can see it's cut off, so we need to make the work area longer. We reset the sample, and now we have the full sample here. And if we analyze this, we hear that without the sample, we cannot fully capture the sound of this sample. So we add it back in. And now it sounds much closer to the original than before. So depending on the input sample, we want to adjust the cutoff frequency for the oscillator and the sampler. So for that we can have a look at both of these. And we have this split frequency slider here where we can set the cutoff frequencies for both the cues. So if we move these around, we change the balance between the oscillator and the sample. The more timbre and noise is going on in the sample, the more sample we need so we set the split frequency lower and if we just have a little bit of white noise in the beginning or noise in general we can set it higher so for this particular kick let's hear how this sounds and we can hear that some character is missing so we set it a little bit lower
and still not quite. We need a little bit more from the sample. Mm, very close. Let's set this to 500. The sample individually now sounds like this. And our oscillator like this. So if we want to adjust the pitch of the oscillator now, we can just do that. We see that it is at F sharp and we see it's a little bit off. So we can go and snap these to key. We don't need this one in the end. So now it's a little bit more in tune. But if we want to have it on a totally different key, we can do that. We can move the face now around. So if we'd like to have the zero crossing on the beat grid, we could do that. And when we are finished, we just click the finish button and we have the sample analyzed. So thank you for watching. That was the new analyze function. I'm going to go through a couple of samples now and showing you the analyzation results without talking. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.